Hi, this is Sam the Oil Man, and today's an exciting day because there's a new box to look at. The cycling box. Go, let's have a look at what's inside here. Ooh, sewer surfer bender, that's exciting. That one is super tempting. And we got terrestrial cycling, I like that as well. I, I like the Futurama cards, they're super cool. And then we've got uh, softball player Jerome, another nice card. Freezer Dome, Bender, and Hank. Freezer Dome's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It makes some decent combos. Hank and Bender are both pretty decent characters. So that one has got a, some pretty tempting stuff. Um, I'm not going to pull from it, though. Um, pretty much because I'd pretty much only after quads now. Like, unless I can get a quad card, um, it really doesn't help me at all. I'm... It could be worth a pull for me to get a second Freezer Dome. But even if I dueled it, it's still probably not going to make it into my quad deck. I just don't have the, the gems to, to go further, so no special deal for me. But if you're just after single or duels, that special deal could be worthwhile in this one. Um, I Again, Sewer Surfer Bend is really cool. So is Terrestrial Cycling. Both of those... Nice to have two, well, I might be influenced because I love Futurama, like it's my favourite one of all the shows, so that might have something to do with it, but I like this cycling box, I like it a lot. Oh, you probably want to see the epic cards as well, so let's see what epic cards are in here. Cycling, Cyclist Hank, Golfing Lois, those are the two interesting ones. Um, Golfing Lois is probably pretty decent. With a cheeseburger there. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And um, we got Turkey Trot, Roller Derby, Lady Wrestling, and Christmas Chemistry. Chemistry teacher, Peggy. Not Christmas teacher, Peggy. <laughs> that makes more sense. Um, but the, what type of card? Educated. Interesting to throw an educated card in here. Very interesting indeed. But hey, I'm not going to complain. It is the bottom epic card, so um, Cyclist Hank and Golfing Lois. They're the, probably the two decent power epic cards. There's the box. Now it's time for our gem pulls. Oh, that's the mailbox. That's not where gems are. Toolbox. Here we go, here we go. Legendary Stones. Big pull, here we go. Got a power stone pull too. Let's legendary first. Get it out of the way. See what a new card is. <laughs> okay, that's my third bender in the line of my fourth quad bender. So, which is not bad. I, I'm soon I'll have enough benders to make a super bender deck. Pretty exciting stuff, actually. I'm, I can't wait to do that. Uh, power stones. Hey, a roller. Derby Haley. Uh, I can't remember if that's my second, third, or fourth, but I'll take it. I will take it. And then we go to Epic Stones and let's see what we get. We get five pulls. I'm guessing it's Golden Turds, which I. Not Golden Turds, Giggity Watts, which I desperately need those Giggity Watts. Um, <laughs> Golden Turds might actually be better, but that is definitely Giggity Watts. Giggity, 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 That's a big giggity. And the next one, here's the final one. Boomhauer! All, oh no, one more. All Giggity Watts. And then, yep, definitely all Giggity Watts. Those epic stone pulls are just getting more Giggity. Anyway, now, our daily Mom's Old Fashioned Mystery Box. Let's see what we get today. Resets in two hours and 42 minutes. But uh, we'll do our daily pull, and let's see what we get. Whoa, totally worth it, hey? Um, and that's what I mean, lottery. Um, chances of winning so low is stupid. And I'm, I know that going into it. I'm definitely only doing one pull. Uh, there you go. There you go. Next, um, I'll just make sure I've got my quests done. Yep, quests are all done, so we're sorted there. So we'll go and do the rumble. Rumble, and then we'll have a look at doing the arena. <clears throat> and then later tonight, we've got some animations and throwdown live streaming to do. 
English Planet Espresso Cafe. Interesting battle up here. Well, English still has not lost the battle, so let's give this a fight. We're looking strong on this one too. <clears throat> nice to see a little bit of competition though. And um, yeah, here we go, here we go. I'm leaning towards um, like organizing sandbagging is actually gonna be pretty challenging. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see if, if that's something that we do or not. Um, what's next? What are we doing next? Eugene, Hank, Burger and Fries, Louise. Mm -mm -mm. Tough call there. Let's actually let's scary mask it. That's that's an idea. Uh, against a bender. Well, we can put Devil Hank against Bender. Devil Hank will always come out ahead on that. Against another bender. Uh, well, let's Eugene him up. There we go. Eugene. With the punch, Bender's done. And uh, now there's a fry. Oh, interesting choices. Interesting choices. I might actually do it separately though, so we can get that punch. Keep the motivate and get the punch. Now we've got even tougher choices, but I think we're gonna win, so it's all good. Um, but Eugene Belcher, is he gonna heal right back up? Yes. And Devil Hank will too, so perfect score. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Perfect victory. What a way to go. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Winglish is moving forward. Look at that score. That was a nice way to open with a nice, very nice, perfect 100 win that we had to actually work for a little bit there. So that was exciting stuff. Let's see what's next. Next. Oh, we've got some mythic options. Push up Peggy can combo with a few bits and pieces. But let's, uh, it's just not a quad, it's just my jewel. Um, tempting, tempting, tough choices. All right, we'll go with fry, we'll fry it. Uh, and that was the right choice, because now we're gonna lay late, and now we're sorted. And then we'll just make a fry combo, uh, which is gonna make death rolling. And that's actually gonna be my feature combo. I've been waiting to do this as a feature combo. Fry and push-ups to make Death Rolling, which has a 12 boost, a 17 wall breaker, 15 health, and plus it sports, so it's gonna get, uh, what is it, a 30% boost basically to attack and defense, as I understand it, is that right? 30% of their attack when they attack, and a shield of 20%. 30% attack, 20% defense. Boom, there's death rolling. Another perfect score. Perfect rumble. Let's see, can we pull out the perfect one? I'll have to work hard for it here, but it's it's definitely doable. Definitely doable. Fight number two. That is the goal. Can we pull out a perfect rumble? And then we'll have a look at, um, at our participation in the guild see where we're at see where we're going um next we have roger's sexy shorts here we go um do we want to sexy short it i can't actually combo anything with it whereas with blown's ball i can combo leela to make the one eye beam machine that sh that should do it. I mean, one eye beam machine with all that punch, I don't think there's a chance. I mean, there's a very slim chance that they'll put down anything that can take that much punch. Um, and then with a Stewie as well, just to get the guaranteed punch through, and and then let's just keep throwing punch at them. Some book of spells. And there we have 34, 44 punch in play. <laughs> Nice. Okay, what's next? What is next? Um, next we have, wow, English is really fighting in strong at the moment. I feel like we just gained a thousand points while I did those three fights. 
Which we very well might have. That would be like four people fighting at the same time. Could be. Could be. Well, English does go in strong at the start of the the um, uh, rumbles. So what are we going to go with here? We've got the book of spells. That can, we've got a witch costume. Uh, the witch costume... Maybe book... Maybe I'll just go with Bobby? No. Nope, uh... Tough cop, no, I'll go with the Book of Spells, because it can technically do 28 damage. Oh, and we need to do 32 damage. Uh, he's got a hijack of 3, which means we're good to play Leela. Which should be good enough to take out the Jelly Bean Snaps. Let's have a look, yep. Perfect. And then that was all we needed. Now we can throw in a Bobby, Devil Bobby. And we're sorted. Whatever he plays is going down. Victory! Perfect score. Perfect score. Continue. Alright, let's see what's next. I guess where I could get hit is if the uh, my first card takes damage, the second card gets a punch from the character um, from from their character directly. And then I heal the first card, which also has leech, and then the second card doesn't get healed. That would be how I, I don't get a perfect score. But let's hope that that does not happen. Uh, because now, what are we going to do now? Leaning towards um, my athletic options. Bloom's Bowl, I think, is the way to go here and see what he plays. I need to do 20 damage. And if we throw in Leela next, we can definitely do 20 damage. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. 27 damage this time. Alright, so we can do Bobby and do 29 damage. We can do Hank and do 33 damage. Um, or we can do Stewie here. Do 28 damage. Um, they're all going to be sports, so they're all going to get a little bonus. So I'm going to go with Batter Up Bobby. Because that is a gigantic wall, and we just want to be sure that whatever happens, we don't take any more damage. And 35 against Cupid Bobby, we're sorted. Plus we got Leela's punch, plus we got now Stewie's punch. We are sorted! Yes, another perfect score. I like the Nimbus there, it's, it's like, reminds me of the Reavers in, um, in, in Firefly which is the best show that's ever been aired, ever. But that's another story. That is another story. Wenglish's score is smashing. Let's keep going. We're halfway there. And then the question, the big question, can we get any hero tokens today in the arena? That is a big question. Um, I don't know the answer to that. I haven't had very much in the arena since they opened up the characters uh, up to level 15. What am I going to play here? Tough call. Um, um, what are my options to combo we can make? Gene it on. We can do a Longhorn Bobby. Uh, we can do uh, this fry, student fry, we can do, oh okay, here yeah, that Peter is decent, well let's just go with playing Tom Landry, and then we have options. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna go sex ed Peter, with all that punch and the cripple, we should be sorted. Um, I mean with, with that extra punch there, the 20 punch, plus the 21 attack. Oh, and now we can Leela it as well. Um, there we go. I was thinking about my next mythic pull because chances are, now that I have three mythics, chances are that I'm going to get a card that I already have. On Every time I do a mythic pull, chances are it's going to be one that I already have because I have three out of five, so over 50% chance that I will get something I already have. But um, what, what I want, what I would like is I would... Um, either one of the two that I don't have or more Leela because I'm really enjoying Leela um, so I could, I could take some more Leela there's sexy Roger shorts great opener now we just have to decide what to combo and um, if we combo it with um, the Cupid here all that punch should do the job and then we can Eugene it to give it a bit of a boost 
and then we're well and truly sorted and on the way for another perfect score. Perfect. Victory. There we go. Well on the way now to perfect score. I think we can do it. Can we get a perfect, perfect rumble versus Planet Espresso Cafe? The, the perfect, um, the perfect coffee. I don't know if we can pull a perfect coffee out of Planet Espresso, but let's see what happens. The coffee I'm drinking now is pretty perfect. Tough call to open here. I'm leaning towards, uh, I don't like that combo. Oh, actually there's some good combos. So let's, let's throw in the Blones Bowl. The Blones Bowl's pretty decent, got tons of options. So we could go with Coach Hank. We could go with Mascot Racer, uh, or we could go with Batter Up Bobby. So Batter Up Bobby is only doing 17 and 21 wall, whereas Mascot Racer has 19 wall and 21 damage. Um, with I'm leaning towards 19 wall being enough, and let's see if we can do... With the boosts, we get up to 29, 28. Hold on, why didn't we kill it? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. But anyway, uh, did the wall do the trick? Yes, the wall did the trick. So what's next is some Bobby. Um, yep, yeah, oh, or Hank. Maybe you should Hank it up and, and go for Devil Hank. Um, yeah, let's Hank it up. There we go, a bit of Hank. A little bit of Hank, Hanky Panky. Yep, perfect. And then we make it Devil Hank and we are sorted. We could um, get all our heal back, and yes, Mascot Racer, gonna do the trick. Boom. Boom. And was it perfect? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I was a little worried there. I might have taken it too much punch, but not a problem. Not a problem at all. Yes. What's next? What is next? Uh, wow, look at that score go. Nearly up to 10,000 points. I, th I think we'll make 10,000 before this uh, recording is done. Here we go, we're fighting Turk77 from Planet Express. And tough choices again. Very tough choices. Um, but let's open with Tom Landry here. We can definitely have some good options. Okay, and then if we do with Tina, bad Tina, with a 17 punch, I think we're good. With the wall breaker as well, doesn't matter what he plays now. Uh, but it does matter what we play, and we want to play the witch costume? No. Eugene. Uh, yeah, Eugene will do the trick. Or, no, I want something with a wall, just in case Stan punches it. So, maybe Roger's, Roger's closet can't combo with anything, I guess. It is the witch costume then. There we go, with the wall, we should be safe from Stan's two punch. And that way, um, Zap can heal up Tina any- Oh, we don't need to, we're done. <laughs> Perfect. I get a little, a little obsessed and uh, concerned uh, when I really don't need to, because we had one. What do we have next? English versus Planet Espresso. We're nearly up to that 10,000 mark, and here's our last fight. So we need four people, me and three others, to fight to to clear up uh, that 10,000 mark before the episode or before this fight is done. Um, okay, tough choices again, but Roger's Closet, Quad Roger's Closet, gives us full options. And there we go. And then there's no option there. Devil Bobby it is. Hold on, why? It seems like Devil Bobby got a, a cut. He's only got 16 attack. Surely he's had more attack than that before. But 16 should be enough with the disguise 50% cheers that we get. There we go. Does the trick. Boom. Man, perfect 100. Here we come. Uh, and then with Gene, we can give it a bit more cheers and just move things along. And let's have a look. Almost done. 
almost done. We'll be done now. Um, just for fun, let's make do a Bob Jean or Bob Jean. Let's go with Bob Jean just for fun, you know. And there we go, big win. All healed up. Thanks, Zap. Very happy with with getting to level nine, Zap. Very usable and very helpful. Level nine, Zap. Totally awesome. Um, definitely worth that grinding. I'm so happy that I managed to get my pulls, level 10 pulls done when, or when everything was max level at level 10. Anyway, there we are. We didn't quite crack the 10,000 as, as Wanglish during the episode, just short, but, uh, I think we've, we've got the, we've got the, uh, caffeine out of Planet Express, so we've, we've crunched them good. Although it is too early. You never know what's going to happen. You, uh, Wenglish has certainly come back from from the opposite uh, type of score. Well, let's go to the arena. Can we get some hero tokens? That is the question. Can we get some hero tokens? I'm hoping we can pull out a decent win streak today. So let's give it a go. Fight! I can stare at myself in the mirror all day. <laughs> Personally, no, I cannot do that. Um, I would rather stare at YouTube videos all day. We got Panda Wifey. I like the name better than Panda Poo. Uh, let's see, what have we got? Wingnut Leela. Tough choices, but we don't have to get full health, so we're gonna Roger's Closet that. We're gonna big time Roger's Closet with that. There we go. And now we've got some options here. We can do Devil Bobby. Um, although Wingnut Leela is going to be pretty strong against that. Or we can Clobberella it. But I'm, I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to Devil Bobby that. With a leech, so extra leech should help. Uh, and then I'm a card behind, so what are we going to do to catch up? Um, I'm going to put Leela down. And we should take out Wingnut Leela without a problem here. Oh, ouch. I can take the hit, hit from push-ups, but I need to make the one-eyed bean machine here. Um, oh, actually. No, Bobby, um, can we win? If, if we leave Leela's boost motivate, can we win? What other options? If I increase the motivate, can I win? Maybe. It's only increasing it by two and we lose the punch. So we're actually going to balloon, oh, but then we lose the option for the one eye beam machine. Ah, oh, let's scary mask it. There we go, scary mask. Let's see what we do next. Yep, we pulled it off. Nice. I was scared that it wasn't going to be enough, but I should have known better because it was. And no hero tokens. No hero tokens today. Um, considering how many hero tokens we need, I do wish they would boost the ability or the chances of pulling out hero tokens. Because, um, yes, it is quite extremely challenging to get them now. Well, maybe it was always this hard. Maybe, and I just, you know, having um, a few weeks of not getting them, maybe it felt easier. Okay, what's what's um what's my options here? Let's equestronaut that. Equestronauted. And then we've got some options. We can do working girl Tina for sure. Get the 12 triple all in play. And we are sorted. We are in in play. Um options, options. What can we make with fry? Death rolling, that is certainly a good option. We can make horse rider. Tina over there, or we can make our oh, frame robot disguise option two. All right, well, well let's uh, let's switch costume in that frame robot disguise is just too good not to. Um, oh, well, we could sandwich it, get the bomb going on uh, that baby duck Stewie, but no, let's robot disguise, get the leech going, get that leech going big time. There we are. We've Got each other crippled all to death, but my fr whoa, his chainsaw Hank is insane. His chainsaw Hank's probably gonna take me out, so let's Roger's closet that. And um, what? 
Oh no, Fry did it. Yes, nice work, Fry. And with the Devil Bobby in play too, we got this. I miscalculated in my favor. Yes. Hero tokens away. Let's see what we what we pull off. Hero token? No. Third time lucky. That's that's what I always used to say. Third time lucky. We should get hero tokens. It'd be nice if it was um more like 50-50, but one in actually it's probably one in four. If you get a win streak of four. You're probably getting up to about 25% chance. And I don't know how much the chance is increasing by win streak. But anyway, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, we've got. Um, um, tough call here. I don't know what to play. I might open with Roger's Closet. It is my quad Roger's Closet. It's got great combo options. It's got tons of health, so we're sorted there. Leaning towards Leela uh, next. Yeah, I'm gonna Leela that. There we go. Get some Motivate in on Roger's Closet. And then I'm actually going to... Um, I'm leaning towards Blurns Bowling that. Because it will go Athletic, plus we'll give the boost to Roger's Closet. Although we will lose the Motivate. And we don't have to worry about her dying just yet, so maybe we'll Boy Witch it. Yep, Boy Witch. Boy, which it is. And uh, let's see what happens to Leela, what happens to everyone. Uh, yes, yes, we're doing good, that is good. Okay, options on Leela. Is Leela gonna die yet? She's got 29 health. Nah, she's fine. So let's get some sexy shorts in play over here, and I think we got this win now. I think we got too many cards out. And oh, he made a Cupid Bobby. Now Leela is about to die. So now my only option to keep Leela alive is the one-eyed beam machine. Fingers crossed, the punch goes on to Cupid Bobby. Fingers crossed. Let's see where it goes. Oh no, we've, we've got the win. We're sorted. No problems here. Let's see where the punch goes anyway. Cupid Bobby, just for fun. Oh, and the punch went... Where'd the punch go? I don't know where the punch went. I uh, must have gone to SNM Peter, but we, we got the win. <laughs> and for the third time, lucky hero token. Did we get it? Two and oh, oh no, big time we did not. Uh, maybe, maybe the, for the fourth, fourth win streak. Here we go. Like the chances of not getting of getting a four win streak and not getting hero token should should be ridiculously low. Now, if Congregate reduced the probability of getting Euro tokens on top of adding up to level 15, uh, I would not be happy with that. But I, I don't think it's it's any different. I think it's just me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Zap, if anything, they should be increasing the chance to get Euro tokens, uh, not decreasing, because someone mentioned uh, it's five times, like, to max out the characters now, in theory, will take about five years for a free-to-play player, which seems a little bit long. They could, they could drop that down to just three years. <laughs> All right. What have we got next? We're going to equestrian... Uh, yes, we are going to equestrian all that, because we can hijack his craze, which is perfect. Or we can make Burger and Fries always. And both tough options. Let's leave it to hijack for now and let's get Boy Witch going. Uh, the sooner we get Boy Witch going the better. And next up, next up we'll get some, oh we could make, no we don't want to do that. Um, we could put, I think we need to let Equestronaut do its stuff. I definitely feel like it's doing the job. Or is it? Or is it? That is the question. Maybe it's not. But his, his attack is not threatening yet, so we're okay. We're still on full health there, but it is getting threatening now. Alright, I think it's time to burger and fries that. Burger and fries. And with that bomb, the Pontucket Ale is well and truly gone. There we go. There we go. Boom! Oh, we just left Stan alive, but he got gassed, so we're all good. 
And with Bobby there, we've, we can take the hits from, from his burger and fries. In fact, it's better if we do, because that way his bomb doesn't activate and we don't get gassed. There's Devil Bobby. Ah, oh, Steve died. All right, which costume it up? There we go. A bit of witch costume. Fry's going down because of that bomb, though. I think I got this. Oh, Devil Bobby's taking it home. Yes, nice win streak there. <clears throat> Victory! All right, hero, hero token. You've got to be kidding me. Four wins and still no hero tokens. That is ridiculousness. Okay. That is just crazy ridiculousness. All right, this is like, if I go five without, this is then the most wins I've ever done without hero tokens. But here we go. See how we go with this one. And fight. And yeah, I mean, if I do get five wins without hero tokens, I'm going to call it that they reduced the hero token drop pretty well. But let's see what happens. We're fighting yogurt from USDA prime beef against Antichrist, which I like to call the Anarchist. Uh, what shall we drop? We don't have the best drop here. Sexy short skin combo with Tina there. So let's let's actually drop my quad Tina first. There we go. And he's done a Roger's closet on me. Tough. We're gonna have to work and go it. Uh, with all the cripple and the gas on the Anarchists, <laughs> we should be right. Oh, traumatized Hank. Ouch. Big time ouch. What next? Still lots of options with a scary mask. Uh, so we're going to have to scary mask and then we'll decide what combo I'm at next. Excellent, excellent. I'm leaning towards doing a Clobberella here, but... His Roger's Closet is doing a ton of damage, and Clobberella, I don't know, is going to do the trick. We might have to Devil Hank just to get the health back. Uh, but we wanna, if we do Devil Hank, we want to use our Quad Hank. There we go, that looks better. Let's let's do that, and I can take the hit from Cupid Bobby. Because uh, working Deltina is crippling in this world, so it's not a big hit. Yes, that did the trick. That did the trick. Now we can throw our Leela down. Maybe I should do... Oh, yes, this is what I should do. Some sexy shorts. And watch this. This is going to be really cool. Um, and some Tina. To make two Working Girl Tinas. Two times Working Girl Tina. With, uh, that makes 24 cripple all. I'm safe. I got this. I oh, love it. Love it. Uh... Oh, uh, except for the fact that I'm going to win. If I had another go, I could add some nine more cripple all to it all. But, I mean, we've got the win now. So, there we go. Devil Hank took us home. Saved by the working girl. Victory! And come on, give us our hero tokens now. you got to give us our tokens. Seriously. Seriously? That is just stupid. Okay, they totally dropped the the hero token drop rate and considering how hard it is to get to level 15 in the first place not happy Jan not happy all right let's keep fighting then uh, this five wins without a token drop that's my record as far as I'm aware uh, let's see how let's see how many wins we can go without getting hero tokens now can we get six <laughs> How ridiculousness can we can we show? Can we make it? All right, let's see what's up next. Oh, really? I haven't done a scary mask and Peter combo. I have to research that. I did not realize this. I thought I had everything search research, but I guess we've got one left. Um, I know what it makes. It makes Sister Peter, but let's see. Equestronaut, I guess. Um, yeah, I guess we'll Equestronaut that. There we go, and we'll need, oh no, not Stan. Um, what are my options? I really only have one option there, which is to play Fry. And I think, oh my, uh, he's gonna take me out, totally gonna take me out, isn't he? Um, okay, I could do Clobrella here. That would do the trick, actually. 
Uh, my fry sh should live to fight another day. I think this is my only option. Clubrella. There we go. Take the hit from the freezer burn. And, oh, my fry died. Ah, uh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Now, what can we do to take out his Stan? Uh, can we do anything this turn? Maybe we have to Boy Witch Steve it. He does have 12 payback, and that should do the trick. That should do the trick. Boy Witch Steve, just as long as he doesn't combo on it. Um, and how did Slay tonight not die? Seriously. Okay, and now we have to not die from Freezer Burn as well. How is how is his Dan not dead? That's all I've all I'm saying. Well, we're gonna put Eugene down and just make sure his Dan goes down. Seriously, there we go. Stan's down. The slow tonight is down. And yes, good, perfect. That worked. 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 And I'm gonna take a little bit of a hit again. Uh, but here's the option. Can Boy Witch Steve? Is he gonna finish it off? Twenty-five. Yes, he is. And I can take a nine hit from from long stick, so we are sorted. Let's make ah uh, no, we don't want to do that. Absolutely not. So let's get um let's get the scary mask down over here. We want to keep all the the boost from Eugene on bullets just to make sure we finish off. Oh, Clubrella's gonna do it. So we're sorted. We are sorted. Victory! Nice, nice victory there. Okay, and no hero token? No hero tokens! <laughs> oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. Oh, they totally, totally screwed over everyone with hero tokens. Six wins without hero tokens. That is just stupid. Just plain stupid. All right. Let's, let's keep fighting. Fight away. I have to destroy the evils at Brannigan. All right. That's, that's easy, Zap. You just have to take, take one for the team if you need to destroy yourself. Okay. What are we gonna do here? Our fights are getting a little more challenging. I think we're gonna Equestronaut that. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna totally Equestronaut that. Got a good Tina, Tina option there, and we're gonna pull out that Tina option right now. We're gonna work in girl Tina that with a 13 quick wall. Uh, that should really save us. That should really save us big time. Let's get a bit of Stewie going. Um, yeah, let's get some Stewie going. Let's do the trick with Nibble on the roof, um, crippled old. Oh, what happened there? He got boosted. That's all right. Uh, we could do Football Stewie, or we could mm, save up and do Batter Up Bobby. Both are decent options. Um, Clown Bobby doesn't do the job. Let's get Bobby up. Oh, Stewie's actually taking a decent hit, but let's put Bobby down. Stewie can heal himself back up with his 15 heal. Plus Zap will help out probably. Let's see what happens. And Stewie's gonna heal himself. Yep, 49, so he is fine. Ah, the cat launcher, but that's hardly gonna do any damage at all. Okay, we can make Devil Bobby, or we can make Baby Duck Stewie. Uh, we're totally making Baby Duck Stewie. Get another nine triple all on everyone. <laughs> Nibble on the roof hasn't got a chance. No chance whatsoever. Um, in fact, nothing has a chance now. And then we can, we could do Clown Bobby. I mean, hey, we may as well. I don't normally like to do Clown Bobby, but he'll do the trick. He will do the trick. Doin is done. There we go, there we go. And we got the win. Boom. Victory. Nice, love that stuff. <laughs> no hero token, no hero token. Here we go to 10 wins without getting a single hero token. Um, drop, hero token, drop, rate, um, got, I don't know what the word is. I'll think about it. Uh, it's probably in the title. There's Stewie. Fight. Fight, fight, fight. This is ridiculous. 
10 wins, no tokens. <laughs> Maybe that's the title. 10 win streak, no hero token. Okay, okay, how should we open? We got some choices there. Um, Tina and Roger's Closet is, that's been a pretty good staple of this deck um, and my winnings. So let's continue along those lines uh, to make Working Girl there with that cripple on play. And okay, Hip Hop Bob, even with a cripple, is going to be pretty tough. Uh, I th Roger's Closet should be able to survive that. There we go. And then after Roger's Closet, he does have his punch. So definitely, yeah, Roger's Closet survived only just. Could do Baby Duck, which is going to make the cripple all up to 20. Is that right? 22? Although I think Baby Duck Stewie would still go down. It's going to be close. Let's, let's take the risk. Let's see what happens. There we go. Everything crippled to pieces. Book spells isn't going to do much. It's all those punches. The punches are like anti cripple all cards. Um, will Baby Duck Stewie survive? Oh yeah, of course, he got leeched. Uh, so yes, he will survive. Which means I'm in a good position now with to go with uh, Boy Witch Steve. Oh, maybe I should have Eugene'd it. I probably should have Eugene'd that. Oh yes, we're sorted now. We are sorted now. Let's Eugene that next. There we go. Boy Witch Steve Eugene'd up. He's got his cripple all going. Um, but I think we've got too much cripple all for it to be a competition. Victory! Okay, no hero tokens. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, no hero tokens. Um, ten win streak, no hero tokens. Is that? I think it's gonna happen. I really do think it's gonna happen. Um, two more wins to go to make it that the case. Let's see. In any case, the hero token drop rate is totally um, reduced, which is so stupid. I'm. I'm actually quite angry and disappointed about that. I mean, if I can do a 10 wins, even an 8 win streak and not pull hero tokens, what's the point? What is the point? I'm certainly not buying them. Like, if they're not going to give you free to play players a chance, not even a chance, what's the point? Ah, it, It's not my imagination. I didn't get some and miss it, did I? All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, what should we open with here against this Leela? This is a tough, tough choices. Um, I think we're gonna go with some Bobby. There we go. Leela does die relatively easy. Oh yes, Cupid Bobby. Uh, if we can punch Leela, we're sorted. There we go. Come on, take out Leela. Take out Leela. Oh no. Oh. We're going to take some decent damage here. Alright, then we're going to have to scary mask that stuff. There we go. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully, Leela's gone. Oh, the punch still didn't go on to Leela. We're in trouble now. We're in big trouble, actually. 29. Uh, yep, we're done. Unless Bob Jean can cripple them all. There we go. That's, that was my only chance. We're gonna kill Fryer. We, we needed the cripple all. Maybe we can survive. Let's... Oh, how is Leela still not dead? Uh, with his Bobby there, we're done. Oh, I really wanted to get to 10 wins without getting hero tokens, but it's not gonna happen. Certainly not today. Devil Bobby got me. Oh, and that Leela is... Oh, how did it not die? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. We got close, but yeah, we're done. Alright, eight win streak. No hero tokens, so hero token drop rate has been reduced, which is stupid. That is so stupid. How, like, that is, yeah, it is just, that is frustrating. That is ridiculously frustrating. Um, I don't know what is wrong. I either it's got to be a mistake and congregate definitely needs to apologize for that or that that could be in the end of the game seriously who's gonna play if you can't even like if if you can't even pull hero tokens like what <laughs> oh. 
I, I, I thought it was cool adding up to level 15. Okay, it takes five years to to get up to level all your characters to level 15. No big deal. Something to play for. But if they reduce the drop rate as well, what? Okay, I'm, I'm really, really upset about that. Um, I suppose it's possible that, I, that that happened to me, but has anyone else noticed the drop rate on those hero tokens? Doesn't seem to be what it used to be. I mean, you at least used to get golden turds, but now I'm just getting nothing. Um, I hope it's an error that they fix and apologize profusely for. But uh, for now, that's that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> See you tomorrow or later tonight with some live streaming. Catch you then. Bye. Oh, research first. Cool. And we'll get uh, that... Um, uh, who was it? Peter. Oh, three, three of them ready. We've got three researchers. Let that process. There's a good one. Nice. Bucking Bugalo Leela. Cool. I'll take that. Next we have uh, uh Leela, nice. We're getting Leela ready. Whoops. Alright. Uh filter for uh sports. Was it sports? No, it was disguise. Well let's just go disguise and sports. Uh no, it's in my deck as well, so it was who was it? Who was it? Uh, scary Mask and Peter. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. Final one that's ready. Let's see what we have here. I even forget what I put in it. Oh, Stewie and Jumping Junior to get Owl Stewie. Oh, nice. That's a good combo. With the nine Cripple All. It's too bad I didn't get um, that Junior card in my deck. Uh, let's actually go to the inventory and do some more research with it. And... Maybe I'll focus on getting um, getting it in my deck before Disguise is gone. We will see, we will see. And one more research to go. And I'll do another combo with uh, Jimmy Jr. And something from the deck. Oh, uh, I have lots of fries. Fries in my deck, so there we go. All right, that's it, all done. Catch you on another day or tonight for the live stream. See ya.